made it to Carlsbad Caverns National Park here in White City, New Mexico. And Venus is behind me there somewhere. There she is. Alright, so here is a visitor center. It's about seven, eight miles in from the main road. And um it's a nice drive and parking lot's full though. Everybody's here. Great weather, that's why. <laughs> like 60 degrees, I guess. But anyhow, we'll go check it out. The visitor center. So this is what the caverns look like. So I'm going to do the self-guided tour and take do the whole thing. So on top by the wall is where we are. And then you have to come down. And then to the left downhill and then all inside the, cav inside the caverns here. It's like two and a half hours. And then they can take the elevator up. Sweet. Let's go check it out. Nice. Pretty big, huh? In the big room. Wow, 1960. Yeah. Guano mining. Yeah. Is that what bat poop? Guano? Look at all the bats. Wow. The Brazilian free tailed bat. 17 species. Wow. That's pretty cool, huh? Visitor Center. Big old amphitheater, and then there's the natural entrance, and this is where the bats come out at night. <coughs> oh, he can't even film the bat, the bat flight, huh? That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, there's no way it could come back up. And you're going to win. How much further is it? Wow, this is huge. Shit. Into the abyss I go. Into the dragon's lair. I'm gonna go find Bigfoot. That's it. Pretty cool exit, huh? Starting to cool down. That's pretty cool.
Look at all the, the water um, drainage. <laughs> People's lights down there. <laughs> Wonder if I have to duck. Nope, not yet. This is sweet. This is bigger than Mammoth Cave. God damn. That's pretty cool, huh? Pretty wild. <coughs> this is huge. Definitely bigger than Mammoth. Well, at least in this area, but. At least in the area I went to. Well, there's people down there, but... We still gotta backtrack that way where the entrance that's the entrance over there. <laughs> I guess the flashlight doesn't really make much of a difference, but So that's the entrance over there. That's pretty cool, huh? That's where we came down through. Oh, looks like your jaw's mouth. <laughs> this is amazing, huh? That is super duper cool. We gotta go all the way over here too. All right. We're not gonna backtrack through this, but that's pretty cool. All right. Then we go further down. It's a nice walk. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Huge. Look like it got sawed off. <laughs> this is incredible. Wow. Look. Wow, all the way around. What's water here? Oh shit. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? Wow, this is pretty cool. Huge room. This is a huge room. Holy shit. This is huge. It's a little different than you expected. No, it's just the hard, the hard ground. Yeah. Let's see if it's. Okay. 
here where the colder air comes down through. Nice. Fast enough, huh? Come on, focus. There we go, focus. We just came from up there. Man, this room is huge. We still gotta go down through and down there. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know. Did we walk a mile yet? Oh my goodness, we gotta go down there. <laughs> Bigfoot, here I come. Holy shit. That's pretty cool, huh? Looks like the like the sperm wheel teeth when they filter out the crew. The crew. Hopefully you guys can hear me. You probably hear my feet stomping on the way down. All those years of walking up and down Saber Hills. Hey, that's what this is. Look, I don't know if you can see it, but we got a... Can you see my finger? No. We got a zigzag where that light is down there. That's where we gotta go. <coughs> that's the freaking bottom. <laughs> and that's just for this part. This part was optional, but that's the whole thing. This is pretty cool. Cause you can, from where the visitor center is, you can take the elevator down to the second part. But this is the big room part. So it's one way down here with this trail and then you do the bottom, which is flat. Then you can take the elevator up. Oh yeah, see? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, probably eight more switchbacks. Bottom. And that still goes down further into the hole, but we can't get down there. But anyhow, this is it. So we're down at the bottom. Those aren't trail lights, really. They just illuminate. So up here is where we started to pass those lights and zigzag down. So if you get in vision and amphitheater, like what's up above, if you're down here where I am and you look up, it'll be like the amphitheater where the switchbacks are. That's how it it created itself on the on the inside there. Well, the park made it that way. So anyhow, all right. So now we're flat. Excuse <coughs> me. Mm. Oh yeah, I took off my. It was so warm. It was like 60 degrees in the parking lot, and I know Mammoth Cave was cold down in the 50s. And then I took my flannel because other people had flannel on. So like, all right. Anyways. And when I went to check in, I didn't have to pay the fifteen dollars because I already had the the annual park pass, which was nice. And um, where that mammoth cave they didn't want the they, they didn't they charge you regardless if you had the park pass or not for the tours, for the ranger tours. But they had self got had, well, had oh yeah had a stoop. Hey stairs. Ooh. Kind of stoop a little. Pick up a little bit more lights down here too. Um, so yeah, just ooh, check that out. That's a 
crevice. Yeah, I'm cracking the crown. <laughs> oh, nice. All right. So anyhow, we're going to check in in here. And the ranger lady, she's like, oh, your flannel will be probably too hot for you. <laughs> and she was right. She's like 95% humidity down here. I'm like, oh, wow. Right up my alley, huh? I didn't bore you. This is pretty cool. Look at us, the roof. The ceiling, this is huge. Huge. Every now and then something goes in front of my camera. Part of bat. And it's like where we came from behind. Over there, through there, type deal. Look at that. That's impressive. That took about donkey years. Dinosaur years to create, huh? Huge. This thing is huge. Eventually I might just connect to the top. Look at this thing. It's not reaching the top though, it's not even like halfway close. And it's the base of it right here. Here's another one, a couple more. Yeah, look at the base. Oh, you can't really see it though, but... Look at this thing. This thing looks more fragile. There's a couple more over there. Now we gotta go all the way down there. I'm okay for all the way over there. <laughs> well, we're, we're still in this, we haven't even got down to the, the tippy bottom. <laughs> from <laughs> green lake room I guess they had a flashlight on earlier that, that illuminated everything down there which was pretty cool actually Like tights, tights or mites, not sure. Top or bottom. So we have to go up there, but I guess some of these iceberg rock. Okay. Cool. So we're here, but we started. We're here now, but we started way up here and zigzagged heck now. We still gotta go do this red part. Do not enter sign. Huh. That's pretty hard now. Out of step. Pause and read.
Oh, that's the old root. Oh. Yeah, right around, right around, around Iceberg Rock, where we just came from. And used to climb down here to reach the big room, is where we entered to exit the cave. So they started here and went back to where we were started. Oh, one of the many staircases. Until 32 when the elevator opened up. Oh, sweet. That's pretty cool, huh? Hey. Emergency phone. ET phone home. 18. Alright, we gotta go up here. Oh, that's where we came from. Now we have to go through here, through the other rooms. Hopefully, um, I have enough phone battery to do this whole tour. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty wild. Must be down in the red part now. Here, monster, monster, monster. <laughs> wow, this is a big ass room. come on so you don't get crushed by a visitor. <laughs> and crypt to learn to eat what whatever they can whatever find. Whatever they can find. Yeah. Whether that's little bits of food left behind in the lunchroom or little bits of dead hair and skin that you shed while you're lost. Yeah. That's cool. So bad it have lights on the bottom so you can actually like it creates some sort of depth. So how big this room is. This is huge. I mean this is well it's height wise it is shorter than where we came in through the entrance and that really big one. Which I thought that was the big room, but I guess not. Separate room cave back there. Jeez. Oh. Let me see what's back there. Oh, wow, this is pretty cool. The hole, huh? Mm. 
this behind us. And just go forward through. That's pretty cool. <laughs> go through the subway tunnel. <laughs> A vampire tooth. And yes, I did bring water down here. <laughs> See? It's like a whole different civilization down here. Oh, yeah. I found my house. I don't know how many people is going to flock to these caverns or caves. Whenever the end reaches. <laughs> Holy shit. Huge. Damn, that's a lot of... It took a lot of time and water to do that. Holy fuck. That's incredible. And look at this lot. <laughs> Ooh, look at this, looks like a Q-tip. Hey, you wanna take the wax out of your ears? <laughs> Absolutely incredible. I'm in awe. As far as cave formations like this, tights and rights, this has got the record I've seen. Looks like a miniature. Looks like a coral reef. <laughs> coral reef, seahorse, Q tips. Is the Fairyland exhibit? <coughs> you might as well call it an exhibit. Look at all the spikes. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> Look like statues, people. That is all water drippings, calcium buildup. Looks pretty cool, huh? Gnomes. This is huge. Damn. Huge.
Rub the Buddha, rub the Buddha. <laughs> So, the big room is over here. <laughs> this is where we back up. All right, so that's the aerial view. All right. So, down the bottom, so we zigzag down there. Back cave. Came here. Got down by the junction, the flat area. And now we're on this side, over here. So now we gotta do this loop, come back, and then come back to our elevators and go up. Ancient shorelines, huh? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, I guess we'll be able to do Guadalupe today. I we'll have to do it early tomorrow or something. My battery's getting low. I don't know if you can see it, but that's a hole in the ground. Yeah, you're not coming home. Okay. You can probably see better, better with the video and uh, with pictures, but you know. Ooh, a ladder and a hole in the ground. Yeah, buddy. You're not coming home. Wonder who's brave enough to do it on that ladder. <laughs> Look how it's Look how it's tied up too. How the hell you get over there? <laughs> this is dangling in the dark. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> okay, pause and read. So this big room continues over there, but this lower cave, this level that we're standing on is missing the ceiling to get through the other side. And apparently, okay, pause and read. <clears throat> and apparently you can get a guided tour to go down to there. Which is called the lower, here we go down here, the lower cave, guide, ranger guided tours. 
and this is what you're going to be doing. Yeah, buddy. Next time. I promise. <laughs> Well, that's pretty cool, huh? Holy shit. I mean, that's like a... That's a, let me see, a thousand feet down. God damn. Alright. another big room but I don't know if we came from over there we might have came from that direction too and went around the corner here and then anyhow that's a big hole in the ground see a little cave I guess in there that's a big, big old hole in the ground. I think there's bottom down there. Looks like bottom. <laughs> and it, yep, lights up. <laughs> and water, huh? There's water. Reflections. That's pretty cool. A couple park rangers down here. Paved, but I guess it's for um, rangers. I can't see it. Yeah, nature is funny. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. So we were over there before. Yeah. So this is like the shortcut area. Yeah, so now we continue on this way. Oh, this is that cool. Be like, oh, with a little Christmas tree there in the middle. Oh. That's so sweet. That's cool. But you can't really see the um, like an amphitheater here. And you can see like little seats. I guess with tours. So we were over there a little while ago. And this is a hole in the ground that we saw from over there. And I think we're almost done. Then we gotta get the elevator go on Eva. Up. <laughs> Alright. This is beautiful. This is nice. I thought we were done, but we're not. <clears throat> we just got to the, the tail of it where the bottomless pit was behind us. And now we're on the other side. We're over there on that side of that wall. Now we're over here heading back. All right. Shouldn't be long now. 
pretty cool looking at color, so. That's a shadow, not a hole in the rock. <laughs> Rangers down here, which is nice. Just needed. Whoops. That's pretty cool, huh? Oh, apparently one person said that they had lightning strike and they lost. Oh no, entry. I wonder if that was the other side of where we, or where the other one was. Um. One person said they had a lightning strike here, and that was, took out 80% of their lights. Well, that explains why it was so dark. Oh, look at this. Look like a little natural. <laughs> wow, look at that. Gorgeous. That's really cool. I'm check this guy out. That's incredible. Alright, so this is, now we're, <clears throat> we've completed the loop, guys. Alright, so this is the end of the, the tour down here. <clears throat> I think so. Oh, nope, we gotta get going. Keep going. <laughs> There's the Buddhas over there. Alright. Oh, the way we the gnomes. Stone lily pads, huh? Well, you can't really see them, but they're right there. Yeah, see? Kind of give you an idea of what it looks like if they had more lights on, huh? Elevators and restrooms this way. Alrighty. It's a lot of water, a lot of calcium. Look at the base on that sucker. Drip, drip, drip. How many drops do you think? And billions and billions. Must be another room back there, huh? 
<clears throat> it's incredible. Silent Bell. Oh, that's what this is called, Silent Bell. Huge. Look at this thing. Looks like it's just floating, huh? Wow. Incredible. like a walrus. <laughs> Look like a big old sea lion walrus. <clears throat> oh, you see it looks like the gnomes from back there. That's one of them. This must have been the other one. And then the other one is that one there. Or this guy right here. Could be this one here, the three gnomes. He doesn't look like the Grinch. The Grinch. <laughs> What's that on fucking phone? wings Chinese theater. So dark. So we have to go over over there. <laughs> oh, <yeah. coughs> I see the sign. All right, we're almost there. Right, we're almost there. Probably like the tenth time. <laughs> Here's the cross room over there. There's even a lunch room down here too. You get snacks and all that crap in restrooms. Oh, elevator, so smoky. 
Yeah, all right. Sweat. We're not open from the end exterior because it's airlocked. <laughs> Then it's like, okay, is this the elevator? Push, okay, let make sure I don't push the wrong buttons here. Find your park? Nice, it's very really cool. I like it. Oh, 100 floors? Oops, nope, 125, 150, 175, 200. Must be feet, huh? Fix it another one, huh? Is that feet? Oh, elevator three and four, so must be the two behind me, huh? Uh, Six hundred feet. Was that 750? <clears throat> Not sure. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh. Oh, okay. VR visitor. Okay, room, visitor room. There's no one. Um, oh, 750. Here we go. It did say 750. Sweet. Uh, you lose your work. I got a whole thing to myself. <clears throat> what time did I am? Um, I'm back here. 12.49 and it is 3.12 so that's 1 to 3 is 2 and 2 or 3 2.23 that's about right that's Two a vista view or something like that. But that is right. Two hours. Yes. Two hours and they say two and a half hours. Oh, how do you get out of here? Okay, let's guess. Pretty cool view from the visitor center. Parking lot. Beautiful weather. Let's head to Guadalupe. See what we can do. <laughs> well, that was very interesting cave. Or caverns, I guess. <sighs> it took two. I mean, other. They said two and a half hours. I did it. Almost five minutes before that time, and I was just I was moving. I was moving. I stopped to take pictures when I, you know, but other people that were down there, I mean, they were down there before me, and they're still down there when I. Whew, I mean. 
that had to be like three, that, they had to be there an hour longer than me. And, uh, but yeah, it was very, it was very cool. There was a, I wanted to take the scenic route, the road, which does a little one-way loopy thingy around the, the mountains, but it got washed out during the, the flood, I guess they had. So it's closed. And uh, so this is all part of the Guadalupe mountain range. The word is on the eastern end of it. And uh, the tail end, I guess, the western end is where it's all more mountains. But, um... I took a shitload of pictures and video. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. But, you know, you never know when you're going to be back again. But, uh, yeah. It's all. So the cave, the caverns, here's the self, the tour. That's all that's there to do. This is just a self guided tour. You can do, I think there's one or two ranger tours. And one of them is not for the faint of heart. That's going into the lower cave. You have to put on all like mountaineering equipment and stuff like that. And hard hats and voila, away you go. Right now I'm headed back to the highway. We go a little bit to Guadalupe to the closest visitor center in Guadalupe National Park and check it out. And uh, get that part done. Boondock somewhere here on. There's a campground. But then again, what time is it? It's 3.35. So Guadalupe to the closest one is enough. 40 minutes away. And then I have to backtrack another 40 minutes. Caverns National Park. It's a must. It's, it'll blow your socks off. Uh, make sure your phone is charged up. My, my phone was like on ooh, 80% and I ran it down to 15% battery. Uh, just from filming. It just, so it was a lot of content for you guys. Holy <sighs> crap. You guys enjoy uh, the tour, self guided tour in the, in the caverns, and uh, we'll see you at the next one in Guadalupe. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share my videos, it doesn't cost you anything. And I'll uh, see you in the next video. Ciao.